So my top tips, if you want to be a travel photographer, first thing has got to be effort. Most people, when they go on holiday, which is when they take pictures and travel, get up late, sit by the pool, take a few pictures in the afternoon. That just doesn't work. You've got to be up before sunrise, never miss a sunrise, always there for sunset. So effort is so much of it. The other thing I'd say is don't always stand to take your picture. That's so many pictures are taken at that height. Lie down, climb up high. If your tripod's not tall enough, gaffer tape some wood to it, get up high, be different. Everything you do uh, in travel has often been done before. They're famous locations. So you're always looking to be different. So get that shot if it makes you feel happy, then be experiment, be surreal, be unusual. Another thing that's really important in all aspects of photography, but especially I think in travel, is how you use daylight. Daylight is a key ingredient to selling that emotion. It's, uh, it can drive the viewer's feelings. And so study light. Some places have hard light, some have soft light, some are very dusty places. Funnily enough, one of my favorite bits of kit is a leaf blower. I can take that or a broom anywhere and I can create instant dust. It's very cinematic and it gives pictures that little, that little bit something a little bit different. Where's my favorite place? It would be easy to say I don't have one. I have a sort of a soft spot for East Africa, for being on safari for sure. Uh, I've done it a lot. I've spent a lot of time in the Maasai. And to me, it's everything I love about traveling. You've got the wildlife, you've got fantastic landscapes, you've got indigenous cultures, uh, fantastic food, the light's amazing. And you feel like you're out of this world. And that, to me, is what makes me go back all the time. Something that's really special to me before I go anywhere is to do research. And that's not necessarily photographic research. If I'm going somewhere, I want to see films that have been made there, music that's inspired by that place. Uh, I want to see paintings. Those things can give me so much more inspiration than another photographer's work. And I think the thing about having that cross genre is that when you go there, you have a, an idea of the mood rather than the picture that you want. And that's going to bring creativity to any image that you make.